Hello, so today I'm going to do a video about the safe use of caustic soda, also known as lye, or its proper name is sodium hydroxide, which you can just about see there. Now this is severely corrosive, it's generally about pH 14, which means if you know what sulfuric acid is when you come to actual acids, this is like the alkali equivalent, it's probably even worse to be honest. Now you can either buy it in stuff like tannin remover, or it's already kind of watered down for you, which is a more expensive way of buying it, or you can buy it in its more extreme form, lye itself, which is the way I'd recommend buying it if you're safe handling it this way. You need to be very cautious. So in this video I'm going to sort of show you a safe way of doing it, or relatively safe, obviously always use common sense and you know stuff when you do it. So I've got a raincoat on, um, simply for the fact this stop, if the water splashes on me, um, it's you know on a waterproof layer rather than going to go straight through my clothes. Um, I'm wearing boots, you can't see, but the whole point is because boots are waterproof, um, that I've got on, you know, if the water splashes on it, it won't start burning my feet. Um, I've got a respirator for obvious reasons. Um, live fumes themselves are in inorganic vapour, so an AB filter would work for that, or any sort of NBC filter. This is an outdated filter, but the fumes aren't so bad. The main reason I'm wearing the respirator is the eye protection it offers. You get lye in your eyes, and um, you might be permanently blinded, or, you know, severe eye damage, so really don't, you know, be very, very careful about that. I would always rather wear a gas mask, you know, respirator with a filter because that way you're getting both, you know, you're filtering the air you're breathing and you're getting eye protection as opposed to just one or the other. And very, very important, chemical gloves. And I would not recommend using thin sort of, um, you know, vinyl style gloves. I would recommend getting proper NBC chemical gloves for this handling procedure. So let me show you what my objective is anyway with the light today. You can use this for soap making and stuff like that, but that's not what my objective is today. Okay, so you can probably see in the sink there's a really dirty Pyrex baking tray. This is one we've had for like 20 odd years. And it's over the period of 20 years it's got dirtier and dirtier, I've just burnt on crap. Now, I've managed to get it a lot cleaner than it was using that sort of um, sodium hydroxide watered down formula, the tannin remover. Um, so you can see that there's bits where it's burnt through and everything, but it's still overall quite dirty. So the whole point of what I'm doing today is I'm going to be adding the lye to that in the sink with water um, to basically try and burn through the rest of it. And because I'm using pure lye, it's going to be much stronger than using a pre-watered down formula and much more economical. So what I'm going to do first is fill the sink up just enough with water that it goes over the top of the baking tray. So. Uh, you can use either cold or hot water, I'm just going to use cold water today to be safe. Um, an important thing is if you get lye on you, wash it off with cold water, not hot water, because it doesn't react as much with cold water. Um, washing it off with cold water is a good idea. So anyway, another thing to be uh, taken note of is always add lye to the water, not water to lye. If you're skilled at doing it, it doesn't really matter, but the reason being is you can add it more slowly when you um, add the lye to water, so you can be a lot more careful about it. So anyway, that's almost enough water there now. Okay, so you can probably see that's fully submerged now. So what I'm going to do now is gear up, um, for safety reasons, before I open the bottle of lye, and then we're going to add the lye to the water and you can watch what happens. Okay, so I have all my protective gear on. Now, operating the camera, it's pretty difficult where I've got all this gear on, so you're going to have to bear with me. Um, so let's open the bottle of lye first of all. Oop, that's the entire lid come off there. Anyway, let's uh, now put a bit in here. Right, that will do for now. I want to be careful and not put too much in. So let's now put that cap back on and put that on the windowsill where it's out the way. And now let's have a look at the water. So I'm going to zoom the camera in a bit. And hopefully you can see that that's starting to uh, do some stuff in there. Yep, that's sort of burning off into the water. So, 
This might not be the most sensible idea, but I'm just going to turn the tap on very briefly to get that to stir around a little bit on its own. There we go. And what's going to happen now is we're going to start getting a bit of reaction. Now, a safety thing when it comes to lye is um, never use it in aluminium. This sink is steel, which is fine. But do not use lye with aluminium because it uh, basically dissolves the aluminium and creates hydrogen gas. Which is obviously pretty uh, toxic and obviously explosive. So what we're going to do now is going to flick the extractor fan on. I'm going to stop the video for a bit. So all the fumes that are being made are going to go out the window. And um, I'll cut back to the video when we've got a bit more stuff going on. Because this is obviously going to be a bit of a slow process. Okay, so this has been a few minutes so far. Um, so I'll just give you a little time update. And you can probably see that um, it's looking a bit more interesting in the sink now. You've got kind of all the lye moving to the surface. Uh, the water's starting to go quite cloudy in places. And what you're probably getting is a lot of that sort of fat and protein burning off of the um, baking tray. So anyway, I'll come back in a few more minutes and we'll see what it's like. Okay, a few more minutes have passed and you'll notice the colour of the water's really changed, which I think is just simply because of all the fat and everything burning off of the uh, baking tray. I've topped the water up a little bit and added a tiny bit more lye, but not very much. Um, just, you know, to get a bit more interesting results for the camera. Obviously, it's always better to wear on the side of caution if you're doing this yourself and you don't have the protective equipment. Anyway, um, I'll just zoom in a bit so you can see what the texture of that water looks like. As you can see, it's pretty um, interesting to look at. So anyway, I'm going to um, leave this probably 10 or 20 minutes at least. Um, then I'll put all the protective gear back on to start sort of having a look at what it's doing. Now the water at this stage has gone almost completely black, just basically due to all the fat and uh, crap in there dissolving. So I'm still going to give it a bit longer to get as much off of there as possible. Um, but this is pretty interesting to be honest, I think that's going to look a lot cleaner by the time it comes out than when it went in. Okay, so yeah, that is really dirty looking water now. So what I'm just going to do is put my gloves back on and then I am going to drain the sink and we will see uh, how much cleaner the baking tray looks. Obviously I'm going to give it a good rinse off in um, soapy water before it's used again for safety reasons as ingesting lye will kill you. But um, anyway, let's have a look. Wow, yeah, that is a lot better looking now. As you can probably see. So uh, let's just drain this out. Put that back in there while it drains. probably see the sink looks very clean as well because obviously the lies clean that at the same time but yeah that is way way cleaner than it was before um, yeah very impressive so yeah if you handle it safely lye is incredibly useful for cleaning stuff but as I said obviously make sure you use it safely so there you go I'm just gonna wash these gloves with water before um, taking them off for safety reasons there we go take them off But yes, caustic soda, lye, or by its real name, sodium hydroxide. Although it can be dangerous if not used properly, it is a very, very useful chemical for cleaning stuff to, um, you know, get it really, really clean. Especially if you've got really baked on horrible, sort of greasy stuff. But yeah, way, way cleaner than it was before. Um, yeah, very impressive. So yeah. If you handle it safely, lye is incredibly useful for cleaning stuff. But as